Welcome to CO241 Web Databases assignment on creating your own Drupal module. In this assignment you will create a custom module and install it and then activate it and then test it inside of Drupal. To start with I have the Acquia Dev Desktop running, have the Apache web server as well as the SQL MySQL database server running. Uh, what I created are two files in a folder on my desktop. I call the folder My Module. So the name of the folder is My Module, and inside of the folder I have MyModule.info. And in this file I have three lines name equals, description equals, and core equals. Next, I have My Module. And in this file I have two PHP functions. My underscore content is the function where I can put custom PHP code including connections to external databases or API that's um, provided by Drupal to create something new. For now we are simply going to return and therefore print to the screen a uh, hello world. This uh, function my module underscore menu is going to create the uh, URL so my localhost slash my link is going to be our test phase uh, here's where you can create the custom URL we have the test uh, title we have um, uh, the uh, page callback it's part of the Drupal API and uh, all of this creates uh, a simple module uh, we also have elements of uh, security and so all of those uh, are explained further in the uh, API documentation on the Drupal website. So I have two files. Now I'm going to open the location of my Drupal site. Under C, Drupal, this is where I installed my site. Under Site, then All, and then Modules. Okay, This is the directory where I will place my new custom module. If the modules uh, folder is missing, please create it. So now I will go ahead and grab my module uh, folder and I will place it right here under modules. So now under modules I have my module with two files. Okay, now that those two files are created, I'm going to open my Drupal website under localhost and I have to log in as an administrator. I'll go ahead and do that. Once I log in as administrator I will select modules. And by the way this functionality comes from Dev Desktop. So when you install Dev Desktop you will have by default Drupal 7 available under a localhost uh, URL. All right, so under the modules menu, I now have under other, under other, I have my module, which has the exact description I provided in the mymodule.info file. I'll select this module, go to the bottom, hit save configuration. Now we installed the module and with the checkbox and pressing save configuration we are activating it. We are activating inside of our Drupal system. So just because you downloaded a module and created the directory does not mean that the module is yet activated. Now if I scroll I can see that my module is active. Okay to test the module I simply go to my localhost uh, URL and I will put in my link as the URL which is defined inside of my module that module um, file. I execute it and there it is the best module ever hello world. So now we can put more and more custom PHP code we can again connect to external websites uh, external databases we can do whatever PHP can do inside of our PHP module. Okay, a couple of uh, notes. Uh, some of uh, you contacted me 
with an error uh, which appears after you create a directory and place the two files in the directory. You will see a notice, undefined index, and then on line 916 of a Drupal delivered code, there's some error. And further uh, under other, you will see uh, that your module does not have a name. So this happens when you create files, okay, when you create files here with Notepad Plus, which is set to default to UTF-8 encoding, okay, so uh, UTF-8 encoding. You have to change Notepad Plus to uh, use the ASCII encoding instead, or simply create two new files with Notepad. So you right click, you say new text document, and um, this is going to create an ASCII uh, encoded text file. And um, apparently, this is a bug in Drupal 7 where UTF 8 encoded uh, files are not read properly. So again, you, you go to new, then uh, text document, and you can just edit it with Notepad. You know you're editing with Notepad when. Uh, when you see the Notepad application come up. Uh, I tend to use a different application. I use Vim, V-I-M, which is uh, a text editor that borrows from the Unix world. Uh, it allows me to um, use it like Notepad, but then I have all the additional commands that, um, that VI on Unix would, would have. Okay, so Hopefully this was helpful. And again, the test link is localhost slash my link. You, you, you need to take screenshot of this page, including the URL, and then submit it to Blackboard as your assignment. Thank you very much.